So we have, what is what time is it there right now? 10 p.m.? Almost 10 p.m.? No, it's 8.45. Oh, it's almost 9 p.m. Almost. Yeah, okay. So I was one hour off. I feel a little bit better about that. That means I currently have three hours to get three more votes on Patreon. Otherwise, I'm going to have to get a mustache or have a mustache. Yeah, I feel like you already have something lined up. I I honestly have nothing lined up. I'm basically I wish I wish I could believe you. I'm basically conceding right now. Is this official? Uh basically. I, I'm I'm holding out hope that uh someone's gonna sweep in and help me out. But I legitimately don't know of anyone who's even considering it. Interesting. Yeah. Huh. Uh, yeah, I, I've been having a hard time trying to figure out who to ask because, again, the same with the leg waxing. I don't want it to backfire if someone <laughs> decides they would think it was funny for me to have to do that. Yeah. So there's a few people that I really thought about asking, and I ended up not doing it. <laughs> I have a, a friend out here who uh, wanted to vote $40 towards you until <laughs> I told them. <laughs> <laughs> until I told him that uh, it would only count as one vote, and then he changed his mind. Uh, it sounds like I have a friend out there. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh, but you did, you did get three new votes this week, which were from, yes. uh, I think, I believe Latoya was one of them. Yes. Um, let's see, I'm pulling up the list. Charlotte Jones and Allison Rogers all voted for yes. you. Which has brought you up all- by three votes. Yeah. Which Woo. is essentially sealed my fate. I don't think I have any any escape routes, any any possibility of coming out of this one. If it helps you feel any better, there's a good chance you've destroyed my marriage. Oh, okay. That's great. Because I <laughs> saved mine in the process. <laughs> um but yeah, so over on Patreon, we every month we have a competition between Taylor and I. Whoever has the most votes at the end of the month doesn't have to pay the punishment. Whoever has the least does. Uh, how it's looking right now is that's going to be me. Uh, in the next couple hours here, if nothing changes, I'll go ahead and shave my beard off. But I'll leave the mustache and I'll post pictures up on Facebook. And I'll probably cry about it. I've been telling people, but, I'm like, it's going to look like his dad from the 90s. Oh, that's exactly that's what it's gonna look like. Yeah. Um, but over on Patreon as well, not only do you get to help vote for who has to pay the punishment, but all our episodes come out two weeks in advance. So this week we have uh Man on the Moon coming out on the fourth, and then okay. Star Wars the prequels with uh Nim TV from YouTube coming out on the seventh. Noise. And then just our regular episodes this week, we got Get Out and Baby Driver with Young Crypt TV. So that should be good too. Nice. I would I would like to get some clarification from you on this uh, competition. So the lo- so the loser shaves and has the mustache. Now, do they have to maintain the mustache for the month, or how does that work? Well, what or are you allowed to regrow? The rest of your facial hair. No, you got to keep it shaved off. Because let's say if it was me, it would probably take me the full month to get <laughs> to get anywhere even close. Yeah. But I feel like you, like you wake up in the morning and it's already back. I'll probably shave a couple times this next month. So you're a couple times a day. Got it. <laughs> I'll probably I'll probably shave at least once a week. Okay, I think that, that works for me. I think that'll be reasonable to where it's just the mustache yeah like i'll I'll have some growth coming in towards the end but it'll be pretty much just the mustache the whole time i like it but uh yeah uh i i'm not gonna buy it until until 12 o'clock hits i don't (laughs) i don't trust you i don't believe the word you say i don't care what you say well i'll believe when i see it Alrighty then Um, have you seen any new movies this week other than the ones we're going to talk about? 
yes, we saw the movie Game. What was it? Game over? No, Game Night. Oh, Game Night. How was that? Yes, it was pretty good. What was that one again? Um, so oh. that one is uh, to give you a, a rough summary. Is there's Jason Bateman uh-huh. and uh, Rachel McAdams are married, and they have a group of friends, and they they host a game night every Friday. Uh, then his brother comes into town and he's played by Kyle Chandler and they're very competitive and his brother's always been better than him, this and that. So anyways, his brother decides he wants to host game night at his house that week. So they go over there and he has this whole murder mystery thing set up. Uh But then you come to find out he's, he's got some dealings going on with like the Russians or whatever. (laughs) And he's like really kidnapped. Yeah. And so it's like, Halfway between them not knowing that they're, that it's, you know, they think that they're playing a game. Yeah. And they're not. And then just trying to rescue them. Now. It's, it's really funny. Is this along the lines of all of Jason Bateman's movies? There's something about the movies he's, he's the same in character. Yes. That feel almost the same. Do you know what I mean? It's his character. Yeah. Is that what it is? It's just he, he it, just. Brings. It is. But it's one of those things that it's like I know I know we talk a lot about guys who just essentially play the same person every role and yeah. it kind of gets old. Uh-huh. But I feel like with with Jason Bateman, it's not like he's like the same. He he's Michael right from Arrested Development yeah. in every role. Just you know maybe like with a few minor differences, but for the most part, it's it's almost the same. But it's like it's it it works. Yeah, yeah. I was just thinking about. Um Rewatching Friday Night Lights. Say that because you brought oh, yeah. Kyle Chandler. Kyle Chandler. Yeah. And he's great in this movie too. Is he? I really oh, yeah. enjoyed Friday Night Lights. At least the first oh, two it. seasons. And then I, I came back a while later and finished it and it, it kind of dropped off. But uh it did. When Michael did, B. Jordan came in. I yeah. thought it got really good again. I felt like it was tough making that transition from like all the original characters, you know, graduating, moving on, and getting the the new crop of high schoolers or whatever. Yeah, it it was a little tough at first, but I, it, once it developed, I thought it was good. Like I said, Michael B. Jordan was was great. Well, there's um, they had some like yeah. legit actors on that show. Oh, like, for sure. Yeah, um, you get Jesse Plemons. Oh, Jesse Plemons. Oh, and he, so I just saw he's a, really become one of my favorites i guess like a recent favorite he's it, he's in game night also i just saw a rundown of everything that he's been in recently and it's yeah. just like just great stuff almost consistently i know he's got so he's got like black mirror he's got this game night he's got fargo season two he's got uh, the movie hostels uh i'm trying to think of everything that i've seen him in he was also in um Breaking Bad? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking more recent stuff, but Breaking Bad, I mean, Friday Night Lights. I don't know if you remember the movie Like Mike. Do you remember that movie? <laughs> yeah, with um, little... with Yeah, he's he's in that movie, too. That's Is the he? first movie I remember seeing him in. That's why it was so funny to see him in Friday Night Lights, because in Like Mike, he's like a really unlikable character. He's like yeah. a bully. And then to see him in Friday Night Lights, I was like, I can't stop seeing the kid from Like Mike. <laughs> Eventually, I did, but yeah. it was it was a weird transition. And then seeing him from Friday Night Lights transition back into his character from Breaking Bad was very different guys. Yeah. <laughs> yes, he he plays a, a a wide variety. He does he does great. He's yeah, he's turned into pretty good uh actor <laughs> he's turned into pretty good actor <laughs> <laughs> yes there's something else that something else that he was in recently i feel like and i don't remember it yeah i'm not sure i just pulled up his imdb but i just closed it out um um he's really great in game night too yeah he, we uh yeah he's he's real funny we finally saw coco this week have you seen coco uh i've seen parts of it it's uh it's 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 pretty good. Um, it's a movie. Yeah. It, it was weird. So I've lived in Thailand for over 7 years now. And then before yes. that, I lived in Jersey for a year, and then before that, I lived in Africa for in a year and a half essentially. Right. Um and so it's been what is that? Almost 10 years 
since uh, I've lived in California, like consistently. And yeah. uh, it was weird watching something with so much Spanish. It made me kind of homesick, which is strange because oh. like, right. I mean, I'm Mexican, but culturally I'm not, you know, like I, right. I, I mean, my, so my mom's maiden name is Ortega. So my grandfather is like full blooded Mexican and like we'd have yes. tamales at Christmas and all this, you know, Mexican food just coming in out of the house from his friends and stuff like that. So I, I was like very on the edge of Mexican culture growing up. But uh, it was always it was always around, and I haven't been around it for ten years. So when watching this movie, it was like made me kind of homesick, which was weird and not so, not something hmm. I expected. But yeah. I mean, just <laughs> just growing up, it was something that was oh, yeah. always it's always been around, always around. You know, especially you know in Southern California, there's you, there's areas in Bakersfield where you can go that everything is in Spanish, like the signs. And, oh yeah, you know. And so it's just always around, and now it's just not. I can't. I, I can't even think of the last time I heard Spanish. Really, just naturally. Oh. You know what I mean? Just yeah, just people talking. Yeah. But, huh. uh, yeah, it was weird. But the movie's decent. Very interesting. It's uh. Yeah. What I, I mean, what I saw was good. Yeah. Well, so yeah, uh, that's what we got going on this week. We'll have a couple more epi- episodes coming out. Um, Follow us on uh, on Twitter at I seen that pod. Like us on Facebook, and you can go over to Patreon and vote for Taylor or I. Vote for Taylor. Let's seal the deal here. <laughs> I guess it's probably going to be too late by the time you hear this. But oh yeah, it's definitely the thing is going to be over by <laughs> this, the time this comes out. Wait, this episode's not coming out like right now. No, it's com- it's not coming out in real it's, time. It's not live. No, 